Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a video recently, uh, but I am back. Uh, I've been very busy with work. I'll probably do a life update video at some point. Uh, but today I'm going to do a bit of a movie review for you guys. So I got the chance to see Love, Simon, uh, thanks to the people over at 20th Century Fox and uh, Queer Screen, which is the organization that I work for. We got to see a preview screening of Love, Simon uh, on Sunday, which was a couple of days ago. And I was just going to give you my thoughts about the movie. Um, I'm not going to lie, it's the first, it's not the first time that I've actually seen Love, Simon. It's actually the third. Um, the first time I got to see it through a pre little preview screening, it was an unfinished uh, version of Love, Simon. The second was the actual film uh, that we got to play during uh, Mardi Gras Film Festival. And then the third time was a couple of days ago uh, at the screening at Events in George Street. So for you guys that don't know, Love, Simon is an adaption from a book by Becky Abatali. The book is called Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Um, it stars Nick Robinson from Jurassic World and Catherine Langford from 13 Reasons Why, as well as a whole host of other different and incredibly talented young actors. Incredible, and also people like Tony Hale, Jennifer Garner, and Josh Duhamel, um, who play vice principal of the school that Nick Robinson is at, and the parents of Nick Robinson. The film is about uh, Simon Spear, played by Nick Robinson, of course, who is a not out queer kid who, after a call with his best friend Leah, played by Catherine Langford, is another kid who posts about his sexuality on a sort of Tumblr uh, page. Therefore, Blue um, starts contacting with Simon, who goes under the name, under the pen name Jacques, who uh, then they start talking. After then Simon is outed, you then start to um, sort of see the relationship go. So the whole film is really about finding out who Blue is and of course the relationship that his friends have with, of course, coming out, um, with Simon coming out as gay. So I think this, th this is the first um, coming of age gay protagonist from a big studio film. So like, Probs to Fox for actually creating this film. Um, while we played this film earlier at the Mardi Gras Film Festival, actually won um, our festival the best narrative feature um, for our festival, which is like really great and really awesome. It's really good. I mean, the film is really fantastic. I was crying through this whole film. I think the film was incredibly emotional, hit the heartstrings, really does resonate with a lot of young people. I saw this film with 800 gay men and literally everyone was coming up to like everyone else and being like, oh my God, I wish I had this film when I was 17. I wish I had this film when I was coming out. Um, Greg Belanti is the director of the film you guys may know as the produce, um, he worked on Dawson's Creek and of course he's the executive producer behind a whole host of CW shows, Riverdale, The Flash, Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, um, Black Lightning. So like all of these very different shows that are doing very well and of course he himself being an out gay man and stuff like that really wanted to showcase uh, this film as a very, 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 um, he wanted to sort of have this film as a very important piece of work and to make sure he does it respectfully. Becky also was, I think, a consultant on the film. I mean, she was on the, I don't know if she was a consultant, but she sort of worked, you saw her in like the behind the scenes, stuff like that. And so she definitely worked behind the scenes to make sure that the book to film adaption was, was gonna be great. And I think with Becky and Greg and sort of all the, the cast around that, the film has been uh, really um, well created and well put. So that's my review for Love, Simon. I give it five stars because I think it was really, really, really fantastic. Um, if you, what do you guys think of Love, Simon? If you haven't seen the film, the film is in, th in theaters right now in the US. It's coming out next week in on March 29th at Honest in Australia. So make sure you tell me your thoughts down below. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.